Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Throws complete, he's got space to work. And he's tackled at the 30. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. Black five! Hey. Here's a run. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there. And the defense this time wins the battle. That'll make it fourth and two. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Booming kick. LSU's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets it out quickly. That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. So they'll pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. Check Mike 11, check Mike 11. Just throws this one away. Second and 10, ball on their own 41. He gets sacked on the play. They need to get it inside the 49. Going long. The defender had it and then dropped it. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. And this one is a beauty. He'll take it from the 18. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of three on the play. That'll make it third and 13. They'll spread the field with five wide. Hey. Hey. Tackle.
tackle at the 40-yard line. So the defense does their job well on that series. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that drive. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He fields the punt at the 16. The Gamecocks really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions in college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He makes it to the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and two. Gets to around the 42. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 42. He's at midfield, and he's taken down at the 46. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Quick pass. Tackle made the 37-yard line. Number 15 on the tackle, the 37-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Gets out to around the 28. Call it a gain of nine yards. First down. Tight right, tight right. Pull out there, check the outs out there. Let's go! Play action. This one's going deep to the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, LSU. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 77-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 7-0. The Tigers really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. Yeah. Quick strike to the receiver, and they make the stop around the 28-yard line. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. The Tigers with a touchdown lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Mike's 57, 57's Mike. Let's go. Black five, black go. Complete, he's got room. He's tackled at the 44 yard line. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you're a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. First and ten. Ball on the 44. He's on the run. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Down at the 
32. That makes it second and eight. From the 32 yard line, it's second down. Throws it away. Again, try left, try left. Three down, three down. 57's the mic. Rock 57. Green nine, green. Here he goes. They'll bring him down around the 27 yard line. Number 26. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, start offense. offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. Kicks up. And it's good! And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 7-3, LSU. South Carolina, the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. LSU is up by four. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. From their own 28-yard line, second down. goes out of bounds right around the 30. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. And he's immediately tackled. Quick out to his receiver. Number 12 brings his down at the 46 yard line. First down. First and ten, ball on the 46-yard line. Three down, three down. Hey, number eight's coming, number eight's on. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. He's at the 40. And down he goes at about the 35. That's good for a game of 19 yards. First down. From the 35 yard line, it's first down. The ball pops free. It's picked up by the defense. It's a tough break, but he's going to get another chance today. What I want to see is if he'll change his running style after losing the ball like this. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 47-yard line, first down. Throws right, intercepted. And he's level at the 42. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners.
from their own 42 yard line. First down. LSU holds a four point lead. He's got an opening. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. A nice seven yard gain on the option keeper. That'll bring up second and three. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Ready! Just throws this one away. gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They go with a screen here and the halfback's got it. And he's tackled at the 39-yard line. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks away. And he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Five wide. Fires across the middle. And he is drilled at the 49-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up to make the play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He makes the catch and has a first down. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Throws it in a hurry, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Fires out to his receiver. The offense is going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Get to that quickly. Tackle right around the eight-yard line. That makes it second and two. He came down with it. Touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. 
A nice six play 75 yard drive and they come away with seven points. Brad how about the guys up front the offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. This one's all even at 10. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They'll work the left. Nice run to the outside. LSU is going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Under pressure. So we've played two quarters and a 10 10 tie in this game. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass. And if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position. And, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Very close game now as we start the second half. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. And now he's got room to run. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Taken down as he works the left for a nice gain. Gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. there picked up a first down on that carry yeah a good job up front by the offensive line they picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage it's first and ten ball on the 49 up the middle for a nice game that makes it second and six And he stopped behind the line. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Pressure got two, but he put it on the ground. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. He 
he gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Give to the tailback. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. Black five, black five, blue four, blue three. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. I really thought the defense had a chance to get their hands on it, but the ball went out of bounds first. That's got to be disappointing. They line up at the 14. Third down. Mike 57, Mike 57. Go. 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 Tackle made at the 15. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings us fourth and 15. Oh, excellent punt. He's tackled at the 47. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. He picks up a few with that carry, and it's enough to move the sticks. He's a reliable ball carrier, as he showed right there. He got the two yards they needed for a new set of downs. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. It's recovered. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. They'll bring him down at the 43. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 41 yard line. That's a gain of two on one play. That makes it second and eight. He's at the 30, he's at the 20. To the 10. And they tackle him at the four yard line. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. On the pass, touchdown. He makes the PAT. South Carolina lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. South Carolina is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. The last possession didn't go in the favor for this offense. I'd expect to see them come out and be a little bit more conservative with some safe play calling in order to avoid another bad result. From their own 47-yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Down he goes at the 34. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. Double tight, double tight. Double tight. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Run, 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 run. Makes it out to about the 20. Gain of 14 yards. From the 20 yard line. First down. It's the tailback. He gets hit out of bounds at the four-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Gamecocks with a touchdown lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Well, these days, you've got safeties playing up close to the line of scrimmage, almost like a fourth linebacker. The only way that you can keep them from cheating up is to take some chances downfield. Just inside the five. It's second down. Back to the running back, and he gets nowhere. This play is number eight on the drive. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. So the offense stays on the field to attempt this fourth down from the six-yard line. And he's got his receiver for the touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth. And I'm sure they're happy with the result. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. LSU to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 57. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And he's tackled at about the 35. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's taken down at about the 45. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Red two. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. Gunner. He's on the run. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. to the halfback on the screen. Brought down in the open field. Number six on the tackle at the 42-yard line. That brings up second. Second down and five. Ball on the 42-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Here's the halfback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Makes his way to about the 22. This is the eighth play of this drive. And that one's incomplete. From the 22-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Red two, X, go! He's scrambling. Tackle on the 16-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Tighten up, tighten up. Go together. 57 is the mic. Mark 57. And two. Delayed handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up, and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. There really is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication, just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. And it splits the uprights, and that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for them. The offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the fuel range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. He completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Just over a minute left. He chucks it downfield. Tipped away. Great play here by the linebacker to be able to read the pass, get back into the passing lane, and get up and knock that football away from the receiver. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's going left. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Scrambling around. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off.
This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead, they've got a chance to add to it, and that'd mean a victory. And he is drilled at the 18-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. LSU's out of timeouts. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And the ball game's over and our final score of this one, 2017 Game Cut. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you next time.